The young girls dressed in white dresses stepping on the red fruit step by step towards the boat of death. They hold their breath and lie down and let it flow to the mill of the lake. This is an ancient ritual. The maidens will be sacrificed to the dragon tribe. Only then will the tribe have peace for all seasons. The dragon descended from the darkening sky. A maiden was chosen by bad luck. When she is united with the dragon, she will be burned by its fire. The dragon's son can be born in the fire. Finally, after hundreds of years, a man put an end to this cruel way of reproduction because the girl he loved was stolen by a dragon. This man traveled the mountains to find the dragon's lair. He finally succeeded in killing the dragon. But he didn't find Peter, the dragon's son, left behind. Peter watched his father being killed. The good Peter did not think of revenge. Instead, he tried to restrain the spirit of the dragon from taking over his body. He ran to the seam of the mountain rock, rely on the narrow space, to forcibly prevent himself from becoming a dragon. That's how long it took for the dragon to disappear. The dragon has long become a legendary story of the human world and the previous cruel sacrifice ceremony, but has become a popular wedding ritual until this day. Lily, the duke's youngest daughter, was to marry the descendant of a dragon slayer. The nation rejoiced. Everyone offered their blessings. During the wedding ceremony, Lily's fiancé instructed the people to sing a sacrificial dragon song to remember the dark history of dragon abuse. But as the song ended, the wind swept up the dark clouds. The sky and earth were darkened. A giant dragon descended from the sky with its wings waving. In full view of everyone, the dragon grabbed Lily in the lake and dragged her into the air. The crowd had already been scared to death and did not dare to save her. As the descendant of the dragon slayer Lily's fiancé to save face, he vowed in front of the crowd to follow the example of his ancestors. He would go to find the dragon's lair, kill the dragon to save Lily. Lily, who had been dragged away by the dragon, awoke in the darkness of the cave. She was weak and shivering, covering her wounds. She tried to crawl out with all her might. At that moment, a man's voice caught Lily's attention. Peter said, you can't escape. It's a lonely island. Lily saw a handsome, handsome face. As Lily looked closer, Peter handed Lily herbal medicine to heal her wounds. Unfortunately, when their hands touched each other, the evil dragon suddenly appeared at the door, scratching the rock wall and causing the loss, separating the two. After the danger was over, Lily called out to Peter again, but Peter had already disappeared. Peter pops up from the ground. His body bursts into flames. His red pupils reflected fierceness. He struggled to free himself from the cotton cloth wrapped around him. The next second Peter was stunned to the ground. Peter is a dragon. He was trying to protect Lily, who fell off the cliff. Peter released the seal. His chest immediately issued a red light. He turned into a dragon and opened his wings to embrace Lily. He was willing to fall to the bottom of the cliff as a meat cushion. But after Lily learned it that Peter was the dragon, the first reaction is to take the opportunity to kill Peter, but the gift of saving his life still makes Peter can't do it. After hesitating, she looked at Peter, who was about to be swept away by the waves. Lily immediately dragged Peter to shore. Lily looks for herbs to heal Peter's wounds. A storm was coming. Lily ripped off the canvas of the broken boat on the shore to make a rain shelter for Peter. Lily saw Peter unconscious and uncomfortable, so she sang a gentle song to put Peter to sleep. Asleep, asleep, my baby. The cave was cold and windy at night. Lily, shivering, could only stay close to Peter. She drew warmth from Peter's body. She hoped that Peter would recover quickly and turn into a dragon again to take her home. The next day, Lily woke up to find a breakfast of fruit next to her bed. Peter had recovered and was catching fish on the shore, looking at the sturdy Peter in front of her. Lily couldn't understand that Peter was a dragon. It turns out that as a descendant of the dragon race, Peter has been able to restrain the awakening of the dragon spirit in his body. But the touch of his skin with Lily, his previous efforts were all in vain. Once he becomes a dragon, he will lose consciousness and become a monster that destroys the world. And the dragon song at Lily's wedding earlier awakened Peter's dragon spirit. Peter could only protect Lily by leaving her in the cave, where her dragon bite could not enter with his remaining sanity. Peter was unable to send Lily home. When Lily learns the truth, she drops all her guard. She looked at the kind-hearted Peter in front of her. She also tries to help Peter to get out of the trouble and live a human life. The two of them use the trash floating on the shore to build a hut on the shore. They use colorful decorations to lay out the mattress. Lily was happy to dance inside. This is a life Peter has never experienced before. They had to go to the beach to play. They felt the impact of the sea together at sunset. They went to the edge of the cliff to fly kites. In the evening sunset with the breeze blowing, they were beautiful as a painting. They have a secret love affair, but the danger comes with the beauty. This couple is flying a kite. At the moment of flying, Lily closed her eyes and leaned into Peter's arms. Peter's hands glow red. The extreme heat of the kite burnt the string. Lily turned around in panic, and Peter has turned into a dragon. He could not contain the energy that filled his body. He spews out the flame in one breath. He's still trying to restrain it. He blows the wooden food Lily gave him with abandon. He only wants to regain his sanity and not hurt Lily. After the crisis, Peter arrives at the beach alone and finds a small boat. 
Inside the boat is prepared food and maps. It turns out that Lily had planned to leave a long time ago. Peter learns that Lily has never really trusted him. His anger was followed by a flash of gratitude. Peter doesn't want to leave Lily to die with him. He took Lily to the altar. He tells her that all the brides of the dragon were burned here. Peter could only say the heartless words to drive Lily off the island. Lily sails up and sits in a boat. Crying and leaving, she met her fiancé who came to save her. To protect Peter, she liked that the dragon had fallen to his death. She can't follow him back to continue the marriage. Meanwhile, Peter is devastated after losing Lily on the island. Peter hates his dragon body so much that he wants to commit suicide. Before the wedding, Lily's father told her. He said you have to listen to your heart. Lily looks at the origami dragon in her hand. She thought of Peter as all the clan watched Lily put on her gorgeous white dress again. She was once again lying in the boat. Her fiancé was on the other side of the river pulling the boat across with a rope. But Lily's face was full of sorrow. She knew she loved only Peter. Lily suddenly sits up and stands trembling on the boat. She threw her hands in the air and sang the dragon song. She wanted to summon the dragon. A sudden wind sprang up. A huge dragon descended from the sky. Lily opened her arms to welcome the dragon's embrace with joy. This time Lily chose cross species true love. Her fiancé, who had been slapped by the dragon, was so anxious that he shot the dragon with his javelin, but he was stopped by the guards. Lily was taken away by the dragon under the blessing of the crowd, but dragons are vicious. Peter threw Lily into the cave. The fire in his chest was about to shoot. At the moment of death, Lily suddenly embraced Peter and kissed him. She loved Peter and everything about him, even if it cost her life. This kiss also tamed the dragon. Peter no longer refused human contact. The two of them snuggled up together. Soon after, Lily and the dragon gave birth to a child with love. Lily was free to walk with the dragon. Because of the presence of love, there is light in the darkness. Few reveals beauty. All fears dissipate. All difficulties can be solved. Learn to listen to your heart. Don't give up on the people who love you.